I'm Will Gary. I'm a blueberry grower here in Ventura County. We started growing blueberries about um, 11 years ago in 2003 and that has grown from 11 acres to 170 acres today. This uh, property we're on now was purchased by my father and his family in uh, 1936. And so we've been here, uh, but in the county here, we've been here for, oh, 140 years. It, you know, I've always wanted to have this place healthy and, and soil health is the beginning of all things above ground. If you don't have that soil health, you're not going to be able to compete over a long period of time. If it's not sustainable, we're out of business. We, we have to. This is a permanent plant. It's not going to be dug up tomorrow and, and switched out. So we need this plant to stay healthy. Blueberry are, is a plant that cannot tolerate getting too dry or too wet. And so we have to monitor this uh, extremely closely in order to keep these plants uh, vigorous and, uh, and healthy. As uh, our, our irrigation, we have a system on computer uh, irrigation in which I can program when the water goes on uh, and uh, which blocks. We have over 40 blocks here that we're, we're using. Um, one of the challenges is to, we have many different soil types. Uh, and different uh, micro environments and each one the, the plant will be affected a little differently and getting the right amount of water to each area at the right time is a real challenge. As a result uh, we first started off with uh, uh, various types of water management that were not very accurate. Uh, the best was always probing <laughs> but uh, I learned about Hortel early on in our, our project, but we had already had committed to some other systems. But uh, in the last several years, we've moved to Hortel and we found a, a great benefit. I probably access my uh, uh, Hortel site seven to 10 times a day. As we are looking how uh, the water is penetrating, how deep it is, what the temperature is, what the humidity is in that spot, uh, it, it's really given us a, a, another handle to irrigate properly. My goal has never been uh, less water. How can I use less? It's always been, how can I irrigate properly? That gives this plant what it needs, when it needs it. And uh, that's one of the things that the Hortau system has allowed me to do. I have been surprised at times, especially during times when we're transitioning, say, from fall to winter or winter to spring, when we have a great deal of difference uh, in, uh, in weather. Uh, how, how soon after a rain should you start uh, irrigating again? Or did the rain even give you enough? And so that's one of the things that this has been able to give me. So I believe we, we may have saved some money in... Uh, in water, but there's probably some areas we had been underwatering, and now we're watering properly. And I would r much rather be efficient than frugal <laughs> on, in this area, because that always comes back to how much production do you have, how, how healthy the plant is. We see, uh, especially knowing what weather trends are, watching what my uh, soil is telling me, I can sometimes, for instance, we've just gone through some very high heat. I was able to build the, my water uh, soil reserves up before the heat came and then keep it there uh, during that time. The plants actually have come through very well uh, as we endure some of that. The temptation so often is if I feel real hot, I just want to irrigate. If I'm cool out here, I don't think it needs to be, and yet the soil may be telling me a totally different story. One of the, the things I, I found is this is a very uh, a rugged piece of equipment, and it has to be. And we're, we're moving dirt around here at times of the year, getting weeds, uh, people are picking, pruning, and, and this, this uh, station has to be able to coexist with agricultural practices. And uh, 
we have had almost no problems. If anything, it's been one of my drip hoses has gotten moved by our people, and so it's no longer in the spot it had been before, which is an easy fix. The one thing I found is the, the folks at Hartel have really been on the ball for me. Uh, when I've had some situations where a station is not reading properly, I can give them a call, and usually within 24 hours, and sometimes almost immediately it's repaired and fixed. I, they've given me uh, also aid with uh, agronomy, with their, their experts, and uh, just being able to interact with them and then with the other people that have Hortau, we're learning what we need to see for the best blueberry.